Welcome back. A Clearfield man will spend the rest of his life in prison for aggravated assault and kidnapping. 69-year-old Mark Burns was sentenced by a judge today to 15 terms of 16 years to life in prison, in addition to aggravated burglary charges. Burns is known as the Clearfield serial rapist. Some of the assaults date back to the 90s. The former truck driver also faces murder charges in Evanston, Wyoming, for the 2001 murder of Sue Higgins. Burns will serve his terms consecutively. Prison time for touching someone's backside. That's what Stan McCracken is up against. He's now fighting to reverse the crime he's been convicted of. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. In 2011, Stan McCracken wanted to give a young man a lesson, but it turns out prosecutors didn't see it as an innocent prank. This law was abused in this case. They abused the law. Stan McCracken's fallout with the law begins at Logan's Transit Center. Nine years ago, he sees a young man with his pants hanging extremely low and showing his briefs. He knows that I did nothing more than goose him. But you're serving prison for all this stuff? Yes. The Cache County attorney charges McCracken with object rape, a first degree felony. In court, prosecutors claim McCracken touches and penetrates the victim's bottom. McCracken says it was only a touch. I told my attorney, go at me, tell him to plead to the 1 to 15, or I'm going to charge him with a 25 to life. He serves five and a half years in prison for taking the plea deal. McCracken serves another two years for violating his parole. It's just crazy. And everyone that's seen it, my other attorneys that have looked at it and stuff like that, are like, yeah, this should just be a class A misdemeanor. His new attorney is now asking the same court, based on the evidence, to change the crime to sexual battery, a misdemeanor. The judge on the record indicated that he did not believe that this was for sexual gratification. He said on the record that it was more like a hazing incident. Well, a hazing incident like this is not a felony. It's a class A misdemeanor at best. The change can take McCracken off of Utah's sex offender registry for the felony he commits in 2011. I did do something wrong, you know, by touching the guy. I, I, and I, I take full responsibility for that. But this is way above and beyond, you know, I'm, I'm looking at 15 years. I've already gone eight years into this. So why did Stan McCracken take the plea deal if he thought he was innocent? Well, according to the appeal and his new attorney, the public defender convinced him to take the offer because he is a gay man and a jury in Cache County wouldn't believe a word he says. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.